John 4, 43 to 54. At the end of the two days, Jesus went on to Galilee. He himself said that a prophet is not honored in his own hometown. Yet the Galileans welcomed him, for they had been in Jerusalem at the Passover celebration and had seen everything he did there. As he traveled through Galilee, he came to Cana, where he had turned the water into wine. There was a government official in nearby Capernaum whose son was sick. When he heard that Jesus had come from Judea to Galilee, he went and begged Jesus to come to Capernaum to heal his son, who was about to die. Jesus asked, Will you never believe in me unless you see miraculous signs and wonders? The official pleaded, Lord, come now before my little boy dies. Then Jesus told him, Go back home and your son will live. And the man believed what Jesus had said and started home. While the man was on his way, some of his servants met him with the news that his son was alive and well. He asked them when the boy had begun to get better, and they replied, Yesterday afternoon, at one o'clock, his fever had suddenly disappeared. Then the father realized that it was the very time Jesus had told him, Your son will live, and that he and his, ho- he and his entire household believed in Jesus. This was the second miraculous sign Jesus did in Galilee after coming from Judea. In the book of John, this is the first account of healing, the second miracle, the first one last time we covered was the water into wine in chapter two. So the father is coming and he's begging Jesus. He's saying, my son is about to die. Please heal him. And so the man begs Jesus to come to his home so that he can lay hands and heal his son or or come and be in the presence of the, the boy who's dying so that he could be healed. But Jesus simply said, go and your son will live. He didn't even need to be there physically. He just said the word. And from the far off distance, his son was healed. And when they found out the time that the boy began to get better, it was the exact time Jesus and the official son encountered each other. And Jesus said, your son will live. That was the exact moment when the boy started getting better. So the lesson that we learn is Jesus has a power and authority to heal. And all he has to do is say the word. We also learn that Jesus can do more than we ask or think. As the Bible says, he's able to do far more abundantly than we ask or think. The man, you know, wanted Jesus to be there physically, but Jesus did even more of a miracle than he expected and just spoke the word. Not only does Jesus heal the sick, he's also raised the dead. If you look, as we're going to get to it eventually in John chapter 11, he raised Lazarus from the dead. So Jesus came to heal. That was one of his main things he did in his ministry. But what's more important even than physical healing is spiritual healing. And Jesus offered the way to forgive us of our sins and bring us back to restoration to the Father. And that's why he died on the cross. That's why he rose again. And that's why he offered his own body as a sacrifice to cover our sins. We're going to be in chapter 5 next video and see another miracle of Jesus healing.